Upgrade to shore, non-stop protection. Now, England are preparing for their round of 16 tie against Nigeria on Monday. And we can go live to Brisbane now to speak to Gail Davis. Good to see you, Gail. This time last year, Katie Zellan watched England's level, uh, revel in the glory, didn't she? Being crowned, of course, at Euro champions. We haven't forgotten that. But last Tuesday made her first England start. Now she's had a taste of it. Do you think she's absolutely ready for more, as are the fans to see more? Yeah, very good evening to you, Hayley. This time last year, she was part of our Euros crew on our Euros bus. And I think as much as she enjoyed it, she absolutely relished her first start for England. What a time to do it. Thumping win over China, coming in, probably in one of the most pressurised surroundings in terms of having to replace England's best player in Kira Walsh. And she loved every second. And it, she was told the night before, can you imagine what her sleep was like the night before? Have a listen to this uh, after Serena Vickman had told her. So we found out the team the night before. Um, it's pretty routine since Serena's come in, so we've got time to prepare um, whether you're in the starting 11 or not. So that's consistent. Yeah, I just wanted well, your mindset sort of going into that game. Obviously, all the build up, certainly from, from us, was you know, how, do, how do England replace um, sort of Kira Walsh? So, did you have to kind of say to yourself, you know, I'm not Kira Walsh, I'm Katie Zellum, and I need to play as if I'm Katie Zellum? I think I just mentioned, and we've all got really different strengths in the team, and for me, I just wanted to do what I've tried to do every single week at Man United and contribute as much to the team as I could, both on and off the ball. And me and Kira have known each other for, God, maybe 15 years now. So I've known her a really long time. So it's great that we've both got that relationship off the pitch too. Well, the Manchester United captain has had a fantastic season, helped guide her club to the Champions League for the first time and to an FA Cup final. But she was having to prepare herself for the prospect of yet more disappointment because back in April, the last squad before Serena Vickman chose her World Cup squad, she missed out and it's definitely affected her and she's had a difficult few weeks in the interim until that squad was eventually announced. When I found out I wasn't picked for the April camp, I actually thought that was my World Cup dream over. Um, I think that was one of the hardest moments to take, especially following the um, Euros last year when I wasn't selected. I think it just kind of felt like there's not another camp before, obviously, the selection. And I think for a couple of days, I really thought, oh, I've worked so hard all season and it's just not meant to be. But... We had some really important games at Manchester United, obviously fighting for the league title and the FA Cup final. And I think that really helped shift my focus to just being the best I could for club. And hopefully whatever I did was enough. Well, in the absence of the injured Leah Williamson, England needed a new captain, but they needed a new DJ too. And she said that it's almost as nerve-wracking being char in charge of the tunes on the bus than it was making her first start for England. And if you wonder what the England team have been listening to on the way to their games, listen in now and you'll find out. And it's definitely an eclectic mix. Yeah, no wonder I weren't that nervous the other day. It's harder being on the bus, I think, picking all the songs. Um, there's a lot of people to keep happy, and the honest answer is I probably don't. Um, everyone's chirping in, oh, I don't like this one, play this one. And I think, you know what, girls, I'm the DJ. Don't tell the DJ what to do. Um, but I try and cater for all the girls. I think we've got a real mix of personalities. We've got some singers, Rachel and Millie, um, who... Tell us we formed a girl band. Um, cool. Me. Cool what? <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to put this on Rachel. It's Rachel, Millie, me, and Kira, and it is the Maranga Tangs. <laughs> so you heard it here first. <laughs> uh, uh, why? I am actually not that sure. I think we had meringues for dessert one night. <laughs> but you don't want to hear us because honestly, we're. We're a little tone deaf. Right, okay, can you give us a flavour of some of the tunes that people have been asking you for? We're really good at We Are Family. You know, We Are yeah, Family. I was, I was around when that was in Yeah, <laughs> we're good at that one. We practised that one today. Um, just a sort of mixture of those songs, really. Right, any old ones apart from that one? 
Oh, yeah, no, there is. Bit of Whitney Houston. Um, I'm not going to sing them all, because you'll all leave. <laughs> um, just things like that, you know. Be more sing-songs we're better at. I mean, it's a really PC sort of tune, isn't it? We are family. There must be <laughs> something else in, in the mix there. I wish I had my playlist to show you, and that, that would blow you away, actually. Um, unwritten, we're pretty good at that. Torn. <laughs> you told me you knew all these songs. <laughs> I told you it was an eclectic mix, didn't I? Look, this World Cup has been one that's produced a huge number of shocks. Three of the top 10 rated teams in the world are already on their way home. And whilst Nigeria are ranked 40th in the world, these, this England team are well aware of the threat they pose and they do not want to be another high-profile casualty come Monday evening. Gail, and a beautiful backdrop there as well. Thank you very much indeed.